Hey guys, Leno here from playtoearn.net. Today's video is the second part of our weekly news series, where we talk about news that happened in the blockchain gaming scene this past week, divided into game updates, teasers or announcements, and other news. For this video, we'll be talking about sneak peeks, teasers, and announcements. So without further ado, let's get to the list. To start off our list, Pigaxi 2023 roadmap is finally here. The updated roadmap reflects the team's increased emphasis on creating a very immersive 3D mobile gaming experience for Pigaxi, as detailed in Pigaxi Insider 8. Creators will concentrate on the core of the brand new skill-based game and new chests, items, and Pega in the first quarter of 2023. Players may anticipate new elements, such as skill-based gaming. These elements will test the skills of players against one another in real-time challenges. Pigaxi will also introduce Pega Swap, allowing players to swap Pega with one another. Players can collect and open chests to get special in-game items with the addition of a new chest feature. The level up Pega function will enable users to strengthen their Pega and battle by upgrading them. Further, the team is developing new experiences to help new players navigate the games, like beginner missions, daily check-ins, and tutorial experiences. Pegaxi will release Battle Pass Season 1 in Q2 of 2023, along with new game modes, events, and racetracks, delivering major updates to the gameplay. Furthermore, the team will add new skins, skills, and bloodlines to keep things interesting. Players may take part in events to receive rewards and get access to new features. As per the press release, Pigaxi will continue to enhance gameplay and introduce new features in the Q3 of 2023. It will introduce Battle Pass Season 2 and new game modes. The game will be integrating a new chat function and guild system to improve the gaming community by enabling players to engage with one another. And according to the team, Q4 will hold a tournament for the Pigaxi community, launching Battle Pass Season 3 and providing new game modes, racetracks, and events. Moreover, as per the Pagaxi roadmap, the game will introduce new skins, bloodlines, and skills. All of the new elements will be combined for a fascinating battle in which gamers may test their skills against the best players in the community and earn special rewards. Up next, Axie Defenders of Lunasian Land releases roadmap. Axie DOLL will introduce a new map in January. The wonderful Winterland update will further include new content and Axie art. The team also plans to release all passive skills on February 1st. In addition, the team will revamp boss encounters and add class bonuses in February. Also, Axie DOLL plans to expand a single player mode through which users may anticipate more engaging experiences. Furthermore, the creators will improve sound effects to make the game more engaging. The upgrades will not be restricted to gaming, as they will redesign the website and launch an iOS client next month. The draft mode will be available to players with the release of Season 0. As per the Axie DOLL roadmap, the team will broaden the game's reach, allowing more people to join the adventure. Players may now play online and establish in-game accounts. You'll be able to win sidekicks as NFTs in no time. Moreover, the Twitter thread promises three embedding secret features. They will each provide the following functions, which are community and creativity, a grand project, and sidekicks. If you're liking this news list so far, remember to check out our website and news section to be updated on everything about blockchain gaming. You can also subscribe to our channel to make sure you stay updated on all our videos. Now let's get back to the list. Um, next, Dinox unveils 2023 roadmap. The Dynox team has recently revealed a new roadmap for 2023, giving us an idea of what we can look forward to in the months ahead. For the first quarter of this year, the developers plan on introducing the Social Island, an adventure mode, and animated dinos. The Social Island will be a place where landholders will be able to show their plots of land to everyone. Landowners will also be able to construct mines and factories, the former used for gathering special resources, while the latter is for producing liberation crystals and dino snacks. The adventure mode is a free roam gameplay mode, in which players will get to roam the wild lands of Dinox World, fighting various enemies using your dino team while finishing quests, dueling with NPC dino trainers, uncovering special items, and more. As for dinos, they're getting a major upgrade to their animations, improving attack animations while letting them walk about the social island and throughout the wildlands. In the second quarter, the mobile version of Dinox World is set to come out, containing all the features of the PC release. The game's marketplace will also be getting updated with a P2P trading feature alongside various sellable items. Another new feature planned to come out in Q2 is the item swap feature, which, as the name points out, will let players seamlessly swap their items. As for the third quarter, the season pass will kick off, letting players take on various objectives and challenges during seasonal events in order to earn special rewards. The team will also release Gen 1 Plus NFT Dinos and the tournament features in which players will battle each other for DNXC and potentially other prizes. Last but not least, the final quarter of the year will mark the launch of special quests and events, which will feature unique rewards for those who successfully complete them. For more details on everything planned for this year, you can check out their official post. Up next, Poke Fantasy is set to launch a second beta test for its NFT card game. ACG blockchain ecosystem Poke Fantasy recently announced that its NFT card game Beta Phase 2 would hit the scene on February 9th. This beta will be available for two weeks until February 23rd, allowing for more testing and auditing by the team. The upcoming test will only be conducted for Poke Fantasy's main game, a 3v3 NFT card battler. According to the devs, there was a distinct performance gap across characters of different rarities during the first beta, which could result in unfair battles. To resolve this, they are working on a fix that will allow players to strengthen their NFT characters and assign their statuses at random. A dedicated marketplace will also be available for players to trade their digital assets. As for the collaboration game previously announced in December 2022, the team is unable to disclose more details as of this recording. 
Poke Fantasy has so far confirmed that they are teaming up with a renowned game studio, in which the game will be launched as a web tool title before being integrated with the blockchain. Nonetheless, both companies are planning to announce this partnership soon, with the development studio set to launch a new game in late January. In preparation for the second beta, Poke Fantasy has joined forces with the game file launchpad, Zyph Eno, to launch a new NFT sale event. More legendary NFTs will be available, allowing players to own powerful assets that give them the ultimate edge in the game. On top of that, an official white paper for Poke Fantasy will be released by the end of this month. Players will get a better idea of how the NFT card game works and what's in store for the future of this ACG-focused ecosystem. For more details, check out their official post. And lastly, Snake City reveals details on tournament mode. After teasing that the tournament mode is coming back soon in November last year, the developers of Snake City have now revealed new details on an introductory article, showing us what we can expect to see in this upcoming feature. In this Slither.io-like blockchain title, players will be able to participate in tournaments by buying tickets. They will be purchasable over at the shop for 1000 SNCT, while getting multiple tickets could get you a discount. The ticket price is subject to change, and which tournaments you'll be able to play will depend on the entry fee, as every tournament could end up asking for a different amount of tickets. Some tournaments could also ask for a certain type of ticket, meaning you'll have to make sure you have the right kind of tickets to take part in specific tournaments. These tickets are not tradable and cannot be refunded. Every ticket lets you play the tournament for 15 minutes, with the option of using an unlimited amount of tickets to continue playing a competition. If you die within those 15 minutes, you'll be respawned after 5 seconds. The reward pool of a tournament depends on the amount of tickets paid to enter. So if more people spend more tickets on the tournament, the larger the prizes will be for the top 3 players on the leaderboard. Players will be able to gain an edge in these competitive events by purchasing in-game non-tradable items, such as helmets, which save you from getting destroyed by a bomb. There are three types of helmets, red, yellow, and blue helmet, priced at 200, 300, and 400 SNCT respectively. The cheapest one prevents death from one bomb, while the most expensive option can save you from three bombs, and the yellow helmet can help you escape from two bombs. Only one weapon can be equipped at a time. For more information on everything about this upcoming PvP mode, you can check out the official introduction post here. And that's a wrap for today's news video. I'll be back tomorrow to talk about our last news segment, news that don't fall in the first two categories. And for more info on everything about blockchain games, check out our website at playtoearn.net, where we have the largest database of games that have all the info you need. That's it for today, see you next video.